Your Giants fans, hub watchers, YouTube and Rumble subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers, it's Kush back at again with another New York Giants update video. It is May 9th, 2022. James Bradbury is still, as of this recording, it's basically around 12 and midday right now, he is still a New York Giant. Last week, on WFAN, you know, I forgot which specific one, but a radio show on WFAN. Joe Shane all but implied that James Bradbury would be released by the weekend. Well, guess what? The weekend, it came. The weekend was here. And the weekend is gone. It is Monday. And James Bradbury is still a New York Giant. At least to all of our knowledge, he is still a New York Giant. Um, of course, the entire offseason, we've all kind of been expecting the inevitable release of James Bradbury, mostly because we are in a really bad cap situation, even though I believe that, um, you know, or at least I should say part of me believes that there is a way the Giants could work this out. There is a way we could still have him on the roster and fix our cap situation because I just every year man i see the saints do it every year man you know the eagles just recently did it as well i think it was either this offseason or last one the rams for crying out loud it's like every year there's teams that figure it out somehow and while i respect the idea and the strategy that joe shane wants to move forward with and he said multiple times he wants it to be a last resort him kicking the can down the road bradbury still being here kind of implies he's going to kick the can down the road because he kicked the can down the road with Blake Martinez um why not do it with somebody that I'd say I'd argue is more valuable to this defense and to this team as a whole than Blake Martinez I don't know but we are here right now and of course every single optimistic Giants fan every Giants fan like myself that wants to keep Bradbury the first thing we're assuming is oh my god oh my god they're talking they're, they're trying to work out a contract extension or something or, you know, they figured out somehow, some way to sign our rookies, to sign our 23 plus undrafted free agents, with, which, by the way, guys, that is why I haven't really done a video on undrafted free agency because there's just way too many players to cover. I would not be able to do it with time constraints and whatnot right now. But, you know, that, that's what every job, uh, optimistic Giants fan is thinking. We, we figured it out somehow. I, I want to say that as well, but I wouldn't jump to that conclusion just yet uh in fact just recently it was sunday i believe uh bradbury posted on his instagram story and i know some of y'all gonna be annoyed i am annoyed as well with the uh the new way of communication that players have through you know uh twitter posts and instagram stories but bradbury is not a cryptic player so this wasn't even something that was hard to quote unquote the decipher uh he just posted on his instagram story it was a picture of himself in the giants uniform and it was a song playing in the background the song is it's a shame by the spinners and before I even read out a couple of lyrics that were played, you already should figure out what it's implying. It was like, oh, it's a shame, baby. Baby, the way you mess around, you've got my heart in chains and I must complain. I can't be content. Oh, look at that. Obviously, it's implying that James was informed of his release or something. Or Like, I don't know what else it could imply. If he got a new contract, there's no way he's posting it's a shame as, as you know, his song of the day. As the song that he's listening to right now with him in a Giants uniform. That only could imply negative things. Uh, and, and if that is the case, right? If that is the case, if he was somehow informed of his release on Sunday, why haven't we, the public, been informed yet? You know what I mean? Is Are the Giants, is Joe Shane, is he waiting for like to do some type of press release, to do some type of media release? I honestly don't know. I can't answer that. It will be very weird for them to have already released a player and like say internally in the building he's off the books they're already working out rookie contracts and whatnot but they haven't let you know they didn't le let anybody know of that there's anybody that could get are, are the nfl contracts public record is there anything regarding nfl contracts that should be public record that you know we could access somehow i need i need one of y'all definitely one of you people down in the comment section would know how to how to get all that you know what i mean but we look at the Giants cornerback core right now. We look at the NFC East wide receiving core. 
And without a doubt, yes, there's a case to keep Bradbury. You know, you think about Terry McLaurin in Washington, and they just added a guy in Jahan Dotson, um, and then they're hoping that Diami Brown, I believe it was their second round pick last year, develops as well. Of course, you know, there's CeeDee Lamb up in Dallas, and I believe Michael Gallup is still there. But but the biggest ones that come to mind is the most recent acquisition to the NFC East and to, unfortunately, the Philadelphia Eagles, A.J. Brown. And you're pairing A.J. Brown with Devontae Smith, uh, a player that Bradbury did struggle a lot to cover last year. In fact, I'd completely give credit to Devontae. He, he beat Bradbury out in both games, in my opinion, last year. Now, of course, there's reasons for that. Devontae is already one of the best route runners in the nfl is extremely fast and quick uh bradbury was playing like 10 yards off and do just does not athletically match up well with Devonte smith who he does match up well though is aj brown and you know who matches up well already in our cornerback core with Devonte smith adory jackson i feel like we have a perfect complement to those two wide receivers in philadelphia with our two cornerbacks over here in new york or new jersey i guess i should say I feel like we do have the perfect compliment and like you know there's i i you guys know me and your giants fans as well i really shouldn't be making the case for keeping james bradbury here for you guys i was on zion zenith's and uh adam costas their podcast over the weekend i believe it's up right now and this topic came up and i brought this point up good players and good coaches good coaches know how to use good players Good coaches know how to put good players in good situations in order to have good sex, good success. I know that was a lot of goods in there, but it's the truth. Don Wick Martindale is a good coach. He's viewed as one of the best defensive minds in the NFL. James Bradbury is a good cornerback. In my opinion, top 10 cornerback. In a lot of people's opinions, definitely in the top, you know, the upper half of number one cornerbacks in the NFL. Whether or not you think he fits Don's scheme that is irrelevant to the situation you know you could put the argue the fact that he was a man corner in carolina you could argue the fact that no in fact he was better when he was in the first year of that zone system with patrick graham either way a good coach in don wick martindale should know how to use a good player in james bradbury and then with the help that our front seven got with cave on thibodeau and the improvement of aziz ojalari that alone helps it. Return of Blake Martinez. There's so many factors that come back that tell me that James Bradbury could have a really good season in 2022. We'll just have to see how it goes. I hope he doesn't sign with a rival if it is the case that we let him go, though. I don't know when we're going to get an update. If Joe Shane just straight up lied to us, I'll be very happy because it's it's not similar to the Kadarius Tony situation because that was just a complete false report that the Giants were shopping him. But that was a report that was put out there that worried a lot of us and it got proven disproven like a week later. I would love for it to be the fact that Joe Shane was just lying to us and the NFL and other teams for whatever reason. I don't know. One's not coming to mind. And we actually keep James Rapper. But that's it for now, guys. Kind of short. Let me know what you think. Put your thoughts down below. Like, share, subscribe. And I'm out. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you for checking out my channel, The Hub, here on Giants YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you hear every time I put out a video. Like it, share, and subscribe, and I'm out.